Today's video is all about progressing your skills. Now you might be comfortable on some of those beginner trails and are wondering how you take that next step up to something a little bit more challenging. Well today, I'm going to be taking you through that whole process. Graded trails are found in bike parks and trail centres. And as much as they are largely predictable, way marked and have the option of a bun and a cappuccino at the end, there are bigger adventures out there, which are a little bit wilder. However, if you learn how to nail a black run at a bike park, you can pretty much wander wherever you like. At trail centers and bike parks, the grading goes from green, which is easiest, then onto blue, red, and black. These colors can sometimes be replaced by other symbols, depending on whereabouts you are in the world. So we're here at the trailhead at the Forest of Dean mountain bike trails, and they don't use a color graded system here. They use a dot system, working your way up from small, which is one dot, all the way up to three dots for those larger featured trails. But let's take a look how color grading is going to affect those trails that you're going to ride. Let's kick it off with a green. Green, suitable for beginners with basic skills and bikes. The trail will be fairly flat and wide with little gradient rises or falls. Blue, suitable for riders with some basic skills. The trail will have some small sections of rocks and roots and some sweet single track sections. Red, suitable for riders with good off-road skills and fitness with good e-mountain bikes. These trails will have challenging sections, technical descents, and features such as jumps and drops. And black, suitable for expert riders with a high level of skill and high quality mountain bikes. These are challenging trails with big features that are large and unavoidable. You also need to realize the difference in the types of area that you're going to ride. If you head to a new school bike park that's been freshly built, the black run there is gonna be very different to the type of black run you're gonna encounter on a trail center run that is maybe 10 years old. The bike parks and the trail centers evolve with time, so take that into consideration. Bike parks tend to be gravity fed with man-made features, whereas natural trails are exactly that. You're out in nature, epic views, it's a total different scenario. So this is a typical blue trail. It's nice and wide, it's surfaced the whole way down and it has a gentle flow down the hill. Yes, it does have some features, but they're all really easily rollable. You don't have to get your wheels on the, off the ground on this one. Now, good bike setup is definitely gonna be essential on a blue run. Talking about tire pressures, suspension setup is all gonna be key to staying in control. And a blue trail is definitely very doable on all levels of e-mountain bikes, including hardtails. So what are some key skills to tackle a blue run trail? Let's take a look. Number one, standing up out of the saddle in the middle of the bike. Now this gets you into the correct position for absorbing the rocks and the roots and the undulations in the trail. Number two, keeping pedals level whilst coasting along. Now this stops the pedals hitting the floor and makes you more balanced on the bike. Number three, an understanding of how to use momentum to your advantage. Be it a climb, a section to nail, or a technical section of trail that's gonna intimidate you. Number four, knowing how your bike will react in a variety of situations will help you out massively. Know that when you hit a jump, the bike will want to unweight itself and get in the air. Number five, and lastly, remember to look ahead a few bike lengths and anticipate the trail as to what's coming. You need to think about gear selection, power mode, seat height, line choice, and to be aware of other trail users too. So before you move on, you need to have the blue run absolutely nailed and be making zero mistakes and feel really comfortable before you take that next step on to the red trail. Your bike choice will also come into play as your skills progress. A hardtail will be fine for most of it, but you'll get more comfort and more control on a full suspension bike. And the setup on your bike will also come into the equation too. Things like tire pressure is really vital. A softer tire is gonna give more grip and a lot more comfort over a harder tire. And then suspension setup, you need to go careful with this one as well. Get it bang on. Really important part of this is going to be the sag in the suspension. You need that to work really effectively. And you definitely need to think about protection too. At a bare minimum, a helmet and a set of gloves is gonna save you from those basic crashes. But as your skills progress and your riding progresses, you need to up that protection. Think about full face helmets, knee pads, elbow pads, back protectors, it's gonna make all those crashes a lot more bearable. You're also gonna need a fully charged mobile phone and don't go pushing those limits on a solo ride. It is not the time to be doing it. The red run. Now this is the trail you should be hitting after dialing in that blue run. This is next on the progression scale. 
Now a red run, it's gonna have a few features on it. Now a lot of these features will be rollable, meaning you can go over them without getting air or hitting your chain ring on them. They may have an alternative line around some of the features, sometimes known as a chicken line. Anyway, let's go take a look at some of the key skills you're gonna to need to tackle a red run. Number one, the pre-run. I strongly suggest either rolling down super steady on your first run and take a look at the track, or even walking it to take a look at the features. Number two, dialing in the art of jumping. Most of the jumps will be tabletops, meaning you can jump half a meter or five. The choice is ultimately yours. Number three, tackle natural terrain. Red runs will be where you'll notice rocks and roots creeping in, especially on those more natural trails. Learning how to adjust your body weight and lift wheels are definitely key here. Number four, correct line choice. Picking your line will start becoming more important as you tackle more natural features, such as those rock and roots. Number five, trail flow. Some features that you ride on a red run can be linked together to make the trail flow better. And this is something you'll see after a few runs if you inject that little bit more speed into your run. Again, work on this trail to make sure you have it dialed before you progress onto anything further. The black run. Now this is often where riders want to end up with their skills progressing, allowing them to ride blue, red, and of course these black runs. Top of your list is gonna be protection when it comes to riding a black run. You definitely want a full face helmet, full pads, as much protection is gonna save you when things do go wrong, as will a high quality e-mountain bike here. We're talking high level e-mountain bikes that can take that sort of hammering. And of course the components too are vitally important. Well, let's take a look at some of the skills that you're gonna to require to tackle a black run. Number one, a black run will have unavoidable gaps and drops or huge rock gardens with nasty roots, meaning you need to be good at jumping and hitting drops every time. You need commitment and confidence. Number two, you definitely need to do a pre-run to inspect every single feature before you ride it and work on each feature one by one. Each feature will need to be landed perfectly before hitting the next one. Number three, you can walk away. Remember, there is no shame in walking away from a feature if you're not feeling it. It will always be there ready for you whenever you feel ready. Number four, a great way of learning how features are ridden is to watch the locals riding it. Look at things such as entry speed, lines, and body positions. So there you go, a few little tips to hopefully get you from that blue trail all the way up to black, but you need to remember to take it steady. Take it in little baby steps is the key to progressing safely. And also think about those mistakes you made. Was it you or was it the bike? Think about your setup, think about what you done and what caused that mistake. That is a vital key to progressing as well. But let us know down in the comments any information that you guys have got to help other riders progress their skills. Love to hear those. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN and give us a find and follow on your favorite social media too. Thanks for watching and remember taking those baby steps is key. See you out on the trails.